hello beautiful people welcome to the channel my name is santosh and i just created an app to help prevent coronavirus outbreaks if you would like to know how i did this or if you would like to collaborate on the project stay tuned to the video Uh, so guys uh, here I am starting the app from from scratch I just installed the app and I'm installing the app again so that we can see the complete workflow and another quick note the discrete the source code of this project is in the description section so feel free to do some pull requests and we can improve the project together right perfect uh, when we're starting the app the user is going to get a splash screen and obviously we are going to ask the user for his location because we are asking for some permissions some services that are going to run on the background good let me just start a small screen recording here okay good now what we have here is uh the first time the user opens the app he is going to have this onboarding experience where we're basically explaining how the whole idea of the app is supposed to work like we have here how it works and we're we are explaining to the user that um if one of the users of the app is tested positive to corona we are going to check his close contacts for the past 30 days and again the idea of this app is not my uh, idea another disclaimer i was searching through you, google uh some cool ideas for coronavirus apps and i i found out that there is some apps that do things like this oh and i tried to replicate the concept using flutter but let's go uh as we go through the onboarding experience we are explaining to the user this and that and about the closed contacts and here we are giving a privacy information that the only information that we need from the user to get his uh, is his phone number and nothing else and click on done this is done now that's the only time the user is going to see that onboarding experience if the user does open the app again he's not going to see that again second point now we want to authenticate our users and obviously i'm using our the phone number authentication because that's the only thing we need from the user right now and let me make sure that our bluetooth is off this is important because i want to show you guys something and again our app is totally based on the bluetooth technology what it does is that if two users are registered on the app we are going to get the bluetooth address of each user on our database and if they come into close contacts we are going to register that these two users came into close contact so what we are going to do now is basically pass the otp we just received which in my case is seven five 14 and 81 again uh, when you are entering the the user phone number you will have to enter the country code because I didn't do that kind of verification because I was trying to put this application together in 24 hours so I kind of left behind a lot of things but we are going to click on done and wait for the app to process okay perfect now um this is another point that we need to improve on the app once the user is done processing once the user created his account he'll be redirected to this screen where he has to manually enter his bluetooth address uh so now we just get we, we just have the user bluetooth address and again i just uh i have here on the app where you can find that on the settings about phone and status that's where you're going to get your users Bluetooth address so what's left for us to do now is to click on send 
and uh, what's going to happen since the Bluetooth of our device is turned off we are going to get this information saying that your Bluetooth is turned off uh, please turn on the Bluetooth because obviously the app is going to run the Bluetooth as the as the background service and this is how we are going to get the close contacts right so now what's left for us to do is to hit we have to turn the Bluetooth on first of all this is part of the process and then we hit refresh and the very same second we hit refresh now we can see here uh, people near you and nobody found yet so we're just going to replicate uh, if the user opens up the app again and uh, I had to turn the Bluetooth of my computer because that's the only thing I have here on so that i can show you guys how it works and basically it works like this uh the bluetooth service is already running on the background and when we find a new bluetooth device this bluetooth device is going to be registered on our app as a close contact right and if the bluetooth address id which is this one uh, inside of these brackets exists on our database or if there is a user with that bluetooth id we are going to register that particular user has a close contact with my 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 current user and basically this is the quick logic uh i ran on the app and uh i think that this is the this is a very good base foundation and we can improve from this point onward if you guys uh have a suggestion if you guys want to make a comment if you guys want to help me improve this app feel free to go check the repo feel free to send pull requests like the video and subscribe to the channel if you like this content. See you guys on the next one.